Welcome to Full Sail Live, I'm Ron Vroman. One of the area's most inspirational figures, Jason McGowan, better known to all of us as J-Mac, was injured seriously in an accident two weeks ago. J-Mac was on his bike near Ladder Road, Wegmans, where he works, when he got into an accident with a car. J-Mac was expected to be in the ICU at Strong for quite some time. He suffered multiple broken ribs and a collapsed lung. However, he was wearing a helmet, so there was no head injuries. No one else was hurt. Today, J-Mac walked out of the hospital. McGowan is expecting a full recovery. Certainly many in the Rochester area saying a prayer of thanks tonight that the accident was not worse. Rochester lost one of its golf legends when Don Allen passed away. He is arguably the best amateur player in Rochester history. Allen qualified for three U.S. Opens and played three times at the Masters. He played the U.S. Amateur 18 times won New York State Am six times. A member at the Country Club of Rochester, he won the club championship 22 times over five different decades. For a bit about the man Don Allen was, listen to his memories from all those club championships. My father in 1946, and I remember that when he came home and won the club championship, my brother in 1963, uh, who beat me in the finals, I'd played him and I wanted him to win so bad. Uh, and I, I tried, and, and yes, he did win. So I got a father that won it in 46, I got a brother that won it in 63, and I've won a couple. Third round of the Monroe Invitational moving day for the Amateur Games Best, Pittsburgh native Will Thompson started off slow, but rebounded on the back. Birdie here on 15, he shot three over today, even for the tourney in 17th place. Rochester's Yarzalov Merkulov, the short birdie on 12, he birdied three of his last four holes, but everyone's chasing Georgia Tech's Bartley Forrester. A bogey-free day, curls in the birdie on 17. He'd shoot a 64, tied for the low round today. He's at 12 under, six clear of the field. Final round is tomorrow. Like many elite hockey players in the area, Fairport native Hunter McDonald had a long winding road to reach his potential. Stops in Texas, Nebraska, in Chicago. Today he was in Montreal hearing his name called at the NFL Draft. The six foot four defenseman seen here in his junior season for the Red Raiders, towering over his teammates. He was taken in the sixth round by the Philadelphia Flyers. McDonald has spent the last three years playing in the NAHL and USHL. He's a bit older for his draft class at 20 years old and will play for Northeastern University next year. Congrats to McDonald for making his childhood dreams come true. The Buffalo Bisons have signed 100-year-old Ray Kenyon to a one-day contract on the 4th of July. The team says he was invited to try out in the summer of 1942, but actually passed up the opportunity because he was enlisting in the Navy. It was during World War II he served on the USS Show Show during the Battle of Iwo Jima. We certainly thank Roy for his service. That's all for Full Sail Live. I'm Ron Broman. Have a great night.